Hey everyone, and welcome to our latest tutorial from Just The Basics. In this episode, we're going to look at how to create this simple paper cutout effect that you see now. Just a heads up before we start, to create this effect, you will need a green screen. For us, what we used was a green sheet hanging from our fridge. If you don't have a green sheet lying around at home, you can probably go down to the supermarket and pick one up for a relatively low price, and then just hang it on the fridge or clothesline like we did. Oh, without further ado, we'll get straight into it. So start off, drag your effects or your starting clip, your base clip into the project file and After Effects. And once you've got that in there, once that's imported, we'll drag it straight into the composition panel. Now to start off for our footage, because the entire background isn't green, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to mask out what is in green. So we'll just select the pen tool, you can do this by pressing G or clicking this little icon here and we'll just create a basic mask around our character. If you don't need to do this you can just speed this up or skip through it but it won't take long. Okay next now that we've created our basic mask we're going to need to click on effects go down to keying and select key light 1.2. We're going to need to select our sample color to key out so we'll click this little pen tool and select anywhere on the green should be fine now we can see that it hasn't quite keyed out all the green, so under the screen map, I'm going to increase my clip black level up to somewhere probably about 50 or maybe a bit less. Okay, somewhere about that's okay. And just so it doesn't take out too much black, we're going to decrease the clip white down to about 70. That should be fine like that. So now we've got our person successfully green screened out. What we're going to do is create the paper cutout effect around them. So to do this, select your footage layer and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Once we've done that, you're going to want to select the bottom layer and now we're going to need to go up to Effect, scroll down to Color Correction and scroll down until you find Curves. Once this effect has been applied, grab this grey bar here and drag it right up to the top left hand corner. Now what this has done is this has made our background layer completely white so that when we have the paper cutout effect you should be able to see a white edge around our character. But at the moment we can't see much of an edge. So to create the edge we're going to need to scroll back up to screen mat and we're going to need to go down to screen shrink or grow. We want our screen to grow. So usually somewhere about 4 seems to work okay, so I'm going to drag it up till it's about 4? Four? 4 or 5, that looks nice. Okay, and once we've done that, that's pretty much our finished effect. If you want it to look a bit smoother, we have this screen pre-blur you can increase to make our edge just that much nicer and smoother. And I might increase that also on my top layer. But it's up to you how thick you want the edge or thin. and. Once you've done that, all you have to do is go back and drag in a background picture like we did. And that's the finished effect. So thanks so much guys for watching this tutorial. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment. We'll see you in the next episode guys.